Hi everyone, my name is Sonia Trivedi, Communications Manager at Mudo, and we are at Mudo Mood Global 2023. Today I have a really interesting guest with me, Michelle Loman, a Learning Experience Manager at My Learning Space, a Mudo Premium Certified Partner in Australia. Hi Michelle, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm having a great day, I'm at Moodle Moot Global. Amazing. You're joining us from Australia. All yeah. the way from sunny Australia, yes. That's amazing. And your topic today was about AI opportunities for modelers. Correct, it certainly was. Pretty interesting topic. I want to ask you a little bit more uh, to unpack some of the most important tips that you gave us uh, from the stage. Yeah. <laughs> I attended your presentation. So just maybe as a summary, yeah. which could be like the key tips that educators can use yeah. from you in order to improve their work? Yeah, so for sure, I, I would think Probably there's, there's two key aspects for me. There's yep. how we can use AI for ourselves as educators. So, um, you know, we're all passionate about building great Moodle courses. So how can we use free AI tools to build better Moodle courses, particularly around, you know, content that can take time and assessments. Um, and the, the second part is obviously not just about us, apparently, uh, but also around our learners and making sure that as educators, that we're preparing learners to be able to use AI really effectively in their learning and, you know, in their employment and, and everyday lives. Yeah. Some key use cases that people can start using from tomorrow. I heard a lot about image generation, engagement and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the great advantages is that even if you've got one piece of, of content, for instance, yeah. you can use AI to very quickly and easily transform that into an alternative. So whether you have something that's very complex and you'd like to simplify it, or you have a text version and you'd like to make a video version or a very long video and you would like it to be broken down into shorter pieces. So AI can help us to actually take content and repurpose it very quickly and easily. It can actually significantly reduce the time for consecration, correct? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, it all comes down to our own skills. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, chat, GPT and AI, um, you know, newish for this year, but AI has been around for decades, you know, so things are evolving and changing quickly. So, you know, it, what it can do today, it'll be able to do even better tomorrow. So it's really important that we challenge ourselves to, to keep exploring and the biggest limitation is us and how we view it and how we choose to use it. Absolutely agree with you. So we discussed a little bit about the um, opportunities, but I'm curious to ask you about the challenges as mm. well. Can you tell a little bit, like, what are the challenges related to AI? And also, I would like to know your perspective. How can we overcome them? Okay. So I, I would say the, the biggest challenge, again, is, is ourselves, that often yeah. we... Particularly in the education sector, we tend to get quite afraid to embrace something or use something with our learners that we don't feel that we've mastered for ourselves. So to, to make sure that we're investing our own time to explore and being open to change, which humans are notoriously bad at, um, you know, it's... Yeah, there's the recency of data. Yes, it's, you know, so it's not completely up to date. Um, it does have some biases in there, but it really comes down to how we choose to use it. So if, if we are informed about AI and its limitations, there's a, a heap of opportunities that we can actually use for ourselves and, and with our learners. Yeah, okay, sounds good. And of course, AI has been a lot of hype, right? Like people got uh, really scared about it. Sure. <laughs> and some people embrace it as an opportunity. So yep. do you think it's more of a hype or a reality or both? Uh, well, there's definitely a blend at the yeah. moment. <laughs> I mean, and, you know, if we look at ChatGPT, we're only looking sort of, you know, about March this year when it was released to the public. But I mean, AI literally has been around for decades. This is not a new concept but the acceleration of it now and the, the access to it has obviously increased. Um, there are obviously concerns. It's the same as any other technology, but it's a tool and it's really up to us as humans to be considered, to, to really be informed. I think, you know, 
a lot of people are quite fearful because they don't understand it. So if, if you take the time to explore and learn and invest some time in yourself in doing that, then that's when you become excited and that's when you can see the, the potential and the opportunities always bearing in mind the limitations, just like any other aspect of life. Yeah, so you, we should be kind of proactive. Absolutely. With embracing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, and talking about that actually brings me to my last question for today, which is how can people keep up with AI? Because they can be proactive, but it's really fast moving, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's several sources that you can use. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously Moodle um, and the Moodle community are a great source of information. Um, there's a whole range of courses. There's the open AI um, site and subscribing to, to newsletters. I mean, the list just goes on, you know, being on Twitter. To me, it's about not just having one source of information, having several sources, talking to people. There's um, some great websites that list the different AI tools that are being released and, and people have reviewed them. Um, so I would say be very open, read, explore and talk to other people about their experiences and share and collaborate. Thank you very much, Michelle. I think it was wonderful. And thank you for today. Enjoy Mudo Mood Global. Thank you. It's been great to be here.